everybody welcome back to my channel uh, today I am going to do my review of the uh, South Korea box birch box that I got a week ago I have had time excuse me to test all of these uh, products and so I want to give you my review what I think of them uh, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started first thing my lips this is the Tony Moly uh, Tony Tint Delight. It's a um, lip stain in red. And I will show you. It goes on real watery. If you can see that. And when I first put it on my lips, you can taste that. Um, that taste that. Uh, a fruity kind of, boy, see it stains, I wiped up, um, a fruity artificial taste. And when I first put it on, my first thoughts was, Ugh, I hate this, I hate this, this is, this is awful. But then it dried. And then once it dried, I put another uh, coat on and let it dry. And then I wore it all day. I put it on about like 9 o'clock in the morning. And I wore it all day. I had lunch. It stayed on through lunch. And then probably around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I thought, oh, I better check that lipstick. And you could see it was starting to wear off. But I, I think, man, from like 9 o'clock in the morning through lunch up until mid-afternoon, say maybe, uh, it stayed on. And I forgot it. I forgot I had anything on my lips. There, It feels like nothing. Feels like nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, it's... This is nice. I went and researched it. Um, Sephora does not carry this. Um, Birchbox does. I think Birchbox does. And I checked that SoCo Glam uh, site that curated this box. The girl who, uh, she could pull her name out. Seem disorganized today. It is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, this was curated, again, by Charlotte Cho. And she co-founded SoCo Glam. So they only had the red. Wherever I found it, they only had the red. Uh, I would love to try it in um, a different color, uh, but I like the red. So, that was a big thumbs up. That, I, I like that lip stain. It works great. Next, uh, let's go on to this one. This Wateress First Essence. I barely had enough to cover my face one time. I, I washed my face um, and then on a clean skin I applied this. Not really knowing what does this do. I didn't get enough information with the box. Uh, I had to go and do some research on my own but I, after I had used it a few days later I found out I believe it's a moisturizer. I used it like a serum. I put another moisturizer on top of it. But I have dry skin, so that that didn't hurt anything. But um, my honest opinion is I didn't get enough of this to know if it did any good or not. Because I barely, barely had enough to put on my face. So um, I'd like to try a little bigger sample before I purchase something like this, but um, that's my honest opinion, so. Next, we'll go with this. I have plenty of this left. The REP BioFresh Mask. This I really liked. Uh, it has it says with real calming herbs. I really like this. This is a nice old fashioned clay mask that you put on, you let it dry, and you rinse off. And look, I used it once and I have plenty of products so I've got several more uses out of this and I liked it. You could actually see the herbs uh, in the in the mask 
which I also liked. So that's a winner. That's a winner. Um, next, let's do this one. This cucumber soothing and moisturizing mask. I've done these um, types of masks before, the, the sheet masks. And look at my hand, still stained red. Um, I think that's main fit. I said mana fit before, but I think it, maybe it's main fit. And it shows you on the back. Basically, I when I did it, it was I was gonna lay on the bed, watch TV, and so um, it was very gooey. Uh, not maybe gooey is not the word. Very wet. Very lot of product. A lot of product on this. So I finally got it positioned on my face just right, and I rubbed the rest into my neck. And I left it on. I watched TV. Left it on about 20 minutes. And then I'm like, oh, let me check. And my mask was almost completely dry. It really, my face soaked in all that moisture, and it felt so good. And my big test about things is my eyes, because my eyes are very sensitive. My wa my eyes water really easy. They burn. They're burning a little right now, so I'm not sure what on me is, but it's not bad enough that, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't wear whatever I have on, but this... I had no stinging, no watery eyes, nothing, and um, this one I really liked. I am so glad I chose this box because th this was a great cheap mask, and it, my face really did. It absorbed all of that. It, it was just a little damp, that sheet was, when I took it off. It was fabulous. Next, um, the cleansing foam. Um, this is a really nice cleanser. This is straight up a really, really great cleanser. I can't, one of these I know has a smell. I think it's, is it the cleanser? It's all used up. I can't tell. I don't know, but this, this I liked. Uh, it had the feel of a really high-end cleanser, a really good cleanser. And I was very, very pleased with this. I think maybe it was the um, the little um, get this this water rest. Yeah. Now this smells good. I might not have had a lot for my face, but the scent alone, I love in this. So um, it's a shame. I wish I'd had more. Uh, so anyway. Next, with the cleanser, was the um, the bubble peeling. And I really didn't know what to expect out of this. This one had me a little, little fooled. Um, the peeling part, the word peeling, kind of um, fooled me a bit. So, I, I still have some. I've only I used it once. only used this once. But I'm going to... If you'll excuse me, I'm going to get a little water, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put a little water on my hands, or on my hand, I should say, and then I'm going to whew, get some of this out. It looks like a gel. It has little scrubby, little scrubby things in it, like a, um, I don't know if I got that too wet. I might have. Here, let me wipe that off. And put a little more. It had little scrubbies in it, a little exfoliant, and um, I don't want to mess this up. And it, uh, so you, I wasn't expecting those little scrubbies, uh, like a like an uh, exfoliant. Um, it's not like a regular face scrub. It's more of a, um, just here and there, but I liked it. Do you see how that's foaming and bubbling? Isn't that cool? And then you rub it in, and then you rinse it off, and look, the Tony Moly stain is gone. This is cool. I really, really liked this bubble peeling. 
But I don't know what the peeling means unless the more you use it, maybe it, I guess the exfoliant, maybe it's in the translations uh, because it does have a, a little bit of grit, just, just a little, not a lot, just, just a tiny little bit. Anyway, cool. Now I'll save my favorite product for last, last, and that is this Flash Cream Radiant Primer. I like this so well. I ordered it from Birchbox and it's on its way, the full size. I put this on, was getting ready to do my makeup, did all my skincare. I put this on and my face looks so good with a nice glow. Um, if you have oily skin, you might not like this because when I was younger, I had oily skin and shine meant oil meant gunk. But now, excuse me, that I'm 52 today. Shine means glowing and youthful, and I love this primer. I don't know if you can tell. It's a, let me squeeze a little out. It's a white cream. I'm going to put it on my hand. I don't know if you can see. You can't really tell that much. You, you can see a little bit. See, it's a little bit of shine. See on my finger? Just a little bit of shine. Not glittery, not um, overly shiny by any means. But if you're oily, you might not like this. Truthfully, you might not like it. Uh, but me, I loved it. I loved it so much I bought it. So that was my reviews of the South Korean curated birch box for January 2016 and I love these products the only one was that little water rest and it smelled so good that is probably a really great product too and I might end up buying the larger size mainly I might buy it for the smell because it has this wonderful it says it has a fermented lotus flowers in it. I smelled like a cucumber smell. But either way, I loved it. I loved it. I loved everything. And I'm so happy with this this box. This has been my favorite box so far from, uh, from Birchbox. And I'm waiting for my Ipsy box. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow along with a, another order of Sephora that uh, my hubby bought me a few things. Um, and I'll do a quick little haul of that when it arrives. And um, and on a sad note, it, yes, today is my birthday and I'm very happy. I'm 52. Also, I found out this morning that one of my favorite actors, Alan Rickman, passed away. And a few days ago, David Bowie passed away. And both of those kind of hit my heart a little bit, made me a little sad. I'm getting a little, a little clipped now, I'm a little sad. But, um, you know, and I didn't win the Powerball. We hit one number, which pays nothing. So, there you go. But congratulations to, to the three people who did win out there. Uh, maybe it's a good thing I didn't win. I might buy up all these beauty products I can't really afford. But I could if I had won the lottery. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I know, I always ramble. But um, thank you for watching me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, leave any comments below or any questions. Uh, please subscribe if you like this video. And um, I hope you all have a great day. And until next time.